Arsenal returned to Champions League action for their last 16 second leg against Porto in a fantastic form, but they find themselves behind in the tie. Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan Zones, the show that brings you the latest update as it concerns Arsenal. Guys, if you're visiting this channel for the first time, please do well to hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get to be notified whenever there's a new video. Alright, Arsenal welcome Porto to the Emirates Stadium for the second leg of their Champions League last 16 contest on Tuesday evening. The Gunners who have been blowing teams away in 2024, including scoring at least 5 goals in 3 consecutive away matches in the Premier League, failed to monster a single shot on target in the first leg and travelled back to North London reeling from a 1-0 defeat where Galino's injury time stunner propelled Porto to an unforeseen triumph. The match at the Estadio do Drago marks the seventh Champions League battle between Porto and Arsenal, whose exceptional goal scoring exploits meant nothing in the first leg, and they were pushed for their lack of gear right at the end of that one goal loss. History may not be on the side of Porto, having met Arsenal several times in the competition. Both sides met for the first time in September 2026. And Arsenal had a Thierry Henry masterclass to thank for that, as the Frenchman registered both his final Champions League goal and assist for Alexander Hleb in Arsenal colours before Porto dug in for a goalless draw a couple of months later. In the 2009-2010 season, Porto took a 2-1 lead to Arsenal for the second leg, but Arsene Wenger's men at that time overturned emphatically with a 5-0 win where Niklas Bentner struck a hat-trick alongside efforts from Emmanuel Bire and Sami Nasri. Porto will be coming into this game with a significant moral boost fueled by their recent 5-0 victory against arch rivals Benfica in the league. The Dragons' recent form reflects their Champions League pedigree, showcasing resilience and bravery. Well, obviously, there will be some level of pressure on Arsenal as Porto are poised to demonstrate their ability to stand firm against any opponent. While Arsenal, on the other hand, were guaranteed top of the table on goal difference after they have had for 2 1 victory over Brentford and Liverpool playing out a 1 1 draw with Manchester City at Anfield. The Gunners yet again demonstrated their attacking brilliance, defensive stability, and tactical intelligence in the game against Brentford. Hamas' 86-minute goal headed Arsenal back to the top of the table as he finally broke Brentford's stubborn resistance to claim an eighth successive Premier League win. Ramdale's blunder in first half stoppage time allowed Yone Wissa to cancel out Deccan Wright's opener, but have a struck with four minutes remaining to leave the Gunners in pole position. Well, all attention now shifts to the second leg of the Champions League. Speaking after the game against Brentford, Mikel Arteta said, The Premier League is done. We are not going to play a game for 19 days and now the full focus is on Porto. We can achieve something that we haven't done in 14 years by reaching the last eight. So that's the challenge ahead of us. More of the support or better plays on Tuesday against Porto because it gives us a great chance to go through. While talking about support, Arsenal should be comfortable at the Emirates Stadium. Playing on familiar grounds in front of their devoted fans gives the team an extra dose of inspiration, energy and confidence as they face Porto. The game is also coming at a time when there is a significant boost to the depth of the squad. With the players they have and players like Thomas Parte, Cabrera Jesus and Fabio Vieira returning from injury, Arsenal will be in a better position when FC Porto visits. Mikel Arteta would have been delighted to escape the Brentford triumph with no fresh injury concerns. David Raya is expected to reclaim his place from Aaron Ramdale in between the sticks, while Gabriel Martinelli will need to be assessed after missing out on Saturday's win due to a foot injury. Jiren Timba and Tekehiro Tomiyasu still remain out with injuries. For Porto, Zaidu and Ivan Makano are out for the remainder of the season with cruciate ligament injuries, but Mehdi Taremi has a chance of being in the squad despite his tie strain. 
Well guys, this is obviously going to be another interesting game to look out for. As Arsenal continues their quest to do something special in the Premier League and of course the Champions League this season. Well tell me what you think about the game and what the possible scoreline will be at the end of the day. Please leave your views in the comment section. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and I will see you after the games.